Do you know the police can legally lie to you during an interrogation? Here are five facts you need to know about police deception. I'm Eliza Orleans, a career public defender for the last 13 years. One, it is almost always legal for the police to lie to you during an interrogation. Police have long been prohibited from using physical force during an interrogation, but they can use coercive deception and can lie to you basically however they want, including fabricating evidence, fabricating co-conspirators who have ratted you out and more. Two, false confessions are the leading cause of wrongful convictions. Even when DNA evidence exonerates someone, most of those exonerations, there were confessions in and those were wrongful confessions because the person never committed that crime. Three, minors are particularly vulnerable to deceptive police tactics. The parts of the brain responsible for future planning and decision-making don't fully develop till mid-20s, and so young people are particularly vulnerable to police tactics that cause them to confess falsely more often Four, police deception is currently allowed in every state, but that may be starting to change. For example, here in New York, State Senator Zellner Myrie has introduced a bill in the legislature to ban deceptive practices in interrogation rooms and to make an evaluation as to credibility uh, when entering confessions into evidence. And five, you can do something about this. You can help end deceptive practices in police interrogation. There are already three states that are considering passing bills and there are more to come and so we need your help. If you live in Illinois, Oregon, or Utah, your state has already passed laws saying that the police should not be able to deceive young people. And in fact, there are a lot of other states considering it. So make sure you reach out to your state legislature. Like and follow for more and leave questions in the comments.